In the limitlessness of the universe, humankind has just started to explore investigation. In spite of our restricted information, we have long considered the chance of extraterrestrial life, frequently engaging the possibility that we may be alone in the universe. In any case, an outlook-changing event happened with the appearance of our most memorable interstellar guest, Oumuamua. Unlike anything we had experienced before, this mysterious object left us in wonder of the possibilities that lie beyond our reality. Recently, famous astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson stunned the world by revealing never-before-seen declassified pictures of Oumuamua. What elements are responsible for sending this extraterrestrial courier? What is the YP effect and what does it have to do with Oumuamua? Join us as we adventure into the depths of space, moved by the information shared by none other than astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson, uncovering the mystery behind this peculiar interstellar voyager. Back in 2017, a historic discovery was made that changed our impression of our place in the vast universe. Using the PanStars-1 telescope, astronomers looked deep into space and found a surprising object floating towards Earth. The visit of the mysterious flying object known as Oumuamua prodded a significant upheaval in our understanding of space and its vast possibilities. Notwithstanding its widespread fame, our knowledge of this mysterious object has remained limited due to public interest. The eminent astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson has revealed previously undisclosed and highly classified pictures of Oumuamua. Using his expertise, Tyson has shed light on this monumental discovery, unveiling its profound implications for our local planetary group. Before diving into the complexities hidden within these long-protected pictures, it is important to first explore the captivating nature of this mysterious celestial object. On October 19, 2017, Astronomers at the Haleakala Observatory in Hawaii made the historic observation of what they initially believed to be a comet or a space rock. However, further examination revealed that it was indeed the very first interstellar object detected within our local planetary group. Excluding dust grains, the object's skewed orbit and rapid speed led scientists to conclude that it originated from beyond our planetary group, prompting them to assign it the Hawaiian name Oumuamua meaning a messenger from afar arriving first. Stargazers immediately realized that Oumuamua displayed wild swings in brightness of up to two and a half magnitudes that defied easy explanation. They soon deduced that it must have an extremely elongated shape, with a length five to ten times greater than its width. The peculiar shape of this baffling flying object ignited numerous speculations and theories aimed at unraveling its origin and the purpose of its visit. One theory suggests that Oumuamua's length and shape might result from tidal forces when an object passes close to a star. The gravitational forces exerted on it can cause significant stretching. This tidal stretching could account for Oumuamua's elongated, cigar-like appearance. However, this explanation faces challenges in accounting for the specific dimensions and aspect ratio observed in Oumuamua. To gain further insights into Oumuamua's shape, astronomers have turned their attention to similar objects within our planetary group. One such object is the asteroid 25143 Itakawa, which was visited by the Japanese Hayabusa spacecraft in 2005. Itakawa displays an elongated shape resembling a rough diamond or a potato. Studying Itakawa's shape and surface features has provided valuable information about the processes involved in forming and evolving such objects. However, while Itakawa shares some similarities with Oumuamua, the interstellar visitor remains unique in its elongated shape and lack of a tail. Oumuamua's exceptional acceleration, akin to a bicycle suddenly gaining speed without pedaling, adds a fascinating element to its character. After entering our local planetary group from above the plane where planets orbit, it passed very close to the sun, reaching about a quarter of the Earth-Sun distance. Following this close encounter, the cosmic explorer continued its trajectory below the planetary plane. It is truly remarkable that Oumuamua maintained an unusually fast speed, starting at approximately 196,000 miles per hour, indicative of a significant amount of kinetic energy throughout its journey. To put this into perspective, its speed surpasses that of any human-launched object, including spacecraft and satellites. This high speed has led to the speculation that 
Oumuamua might have originated from a binary star system. The theory suggests that gravitational interactions within binary star systems can eject objects at high speeds. If Oumuamua did indeed originate from such a system, it is possible that the gravitational forces exerted by the stars propelled it on its interstellar journey, accounting for its remarkable velocity. Another possibility suggests that Oumuamua's speed was a result of interactions with other celestial bodies in its home star system. Encounters with planets or other sizable objects may have acted as gravitational slingshots, propelling Oumuamua to its observed speed. This technique is commonly used by space missions, using the gravitational pull of planets during flybys to gain speed. However, further investigation is necessary to determine the likelihood of such encounters and their contribution to Oumuamua's speed. But there's more to Oumuamua besides its speed. Studies have revealed fascinating insights into its composition. It has a thick outer layer, akin to a cosmic shell made of carbon-rich materials that hardened due to cosmic radiation during its extensive travels through interstellar space. Beneath this protective exterior, Oumuamua reveals its extraordinarily dense inner core, primarily composed of rock and possibly containing metallic elements. What sets it apart is the absence of water or ice, distinguishing it from typical comets or icy celestial bodies. Additionally, Oumuamua's surface has a reddish color resulting from prolonged exposure to cosmic rays over millions of years. Researchers have also considered the possibility that Oumuamua's rapidity is a consequence of its shape and composition. On the other hand, some have argued for the involvement of prominent figures like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku in the discussion around Oumuamua. Interestingly, Neil deGrasse Tyson refrained from commenting on this matter until substantial evidence and the newly declassified photographs became available, leaving everyone eagerly anticipating his perspective on the matter. Some researchers suggest that the object's elongated structure, as inferred from its light curve, suggests that it could be a fragment of a larger body. Assume Oumuamua severed from a larger object due to a collision or other violent events. In that case, it could have gained significant speed during the detachment process. This would imply that Oumuamua's speed isn't intrinsic to its nature, but rather a consequence of previous events. Comets, for example, cross our planetary group at various speeds, while some comets can achieve speeds comparable to Oumuamua's, such as Comet Hale-Bopp. They typically exhibit residual gas and dust due to their ongoing formation process. In contrast, Oumuamua displayed no such characteristics, distinguishing it from known comet-like objects. Another comparison can be made with asteroids, rocky objects that orbit the Sun. Most asteroids in our planetary group move at significantly slower speeds than Oumuamua. For example, the average orbital speed of the well-known asteroid series is approximately 17,880 km per hour, less than a fifth of Oumuamua's estimated speed. This divergence underscores the exceptional nature of Oumuamua's speed and its distinction from typical local planetary group objects. Here's where things become much more interesting. Some specialists hypothesize that Oumuamua could be more than a naturally occurring object. They propose that it could be an artificially created artifact, meticulously crafted by a highly advanced extraterrestrial civilization. Advocates suggest that Oumuamua might be part of an extremely advanced extraterrestrial spaceship or equipment designed for exploration. According to this theory, Oumuamua's unique features could serve multiple functions. Its elongated structure could enhance its maneuverability during interstellar travel while its propulsion system could enable precise navigation through the cosmos. Popular figures like Avi Loeb, an Israeli-American theoretical physicist and astronomer, strongly support this theory. Loeb even proposed a controversial hypothesis that Oumuamua could be of extraterrestrial origin, suggesting that it could be an artificial object or even a piece of alien technology. He argued that its peculiar properties, such as its elongated shape and unusual acceleration, could indicate an artificial origin. Loeb's hypothesis generated widespread discussion and debate within the scientific community. Nonetheless, it is essential to note that many researchers and space experts have expressed skepticism about his claims. The prevailing view among most researchers is that Oumuamua is likely a natural object, such as a comet or a space rock, with its surprising properties being the result of natural processes. Wesley C. 
Fraser and other scientists combined brightness measurements from various telescopes to study its rotational period. They concluded that no rotational period can account for the observed brightness variations. Instead, the object appears to be tumbling in an erratic rotational state. This strange, unconventional tumbling motion was unlike anything seen before. This irregular rotation has puzzled scientists since its discovery. Observations made by astronomers have provided valuable insights into Oumuamua's spin. It completes a full rotation every 7.3 hours, which is relatively fast compared to the rotational times of other objects in our local planetary group. Moreover, its brightness varies significantly as it rotates, indicating that different parts of the object reflect sunlight to varying degrees. This irregular rotation has perplexed researchers and led to various intriguing theories. One theory proposed to explain Oumuamua's spin is the outgassing-induced, tumbling hypothesis. According to this idea, volatile substances beneath its surface are exposed to solar radiation as the object tumbles through space, causing it to vaporize and create small thrust jets. These jets act as engines imparting a force on Oumuamua and causing it to tumble erratically. This suggests that Oumuamua's structure may contain volatile materials susceptible to sublimation, influenced by solar radiation. However, further investigations are needed to confirm if this mechanism is responsible for Oumuamua's curious rotation. Another hypothesis suggests that Oumuamua's tumbling motion could result from a previous collision with another object. It is possible that a high-speed impact distorted its shape and set it into an irregular spin. This impact could have occurred in the object's home star system before being ejected into interstellar space. However, the precise nature of such an impact and the object involved remain speculative due to limited observational data. Detailed examination of Oumuamua's shape, composition, and surface features could provide clues supporting this hypothesis. To better understand its unique development, let's examine other celestial objects with similar behaviors. One such object is the asteroid 4179 Tatatis. This elongated space rock, discovered in 1989, exhibits a tumbling motion similar to Oumuamua. Researchers have proposed several hypotheses to make sense of Tatatis's whims.